We celebrate today the feast of the dedication of the St. John Lateran Basilica. It was the first basilica of the Catholic Church and that is why it is regarded as the mother of all churches and is the most important church in Christianity. It is in a way what Christianity stands for as much as the temple stood for at the time of Jesus. It is a symbol of the unity of the universal church. It is a symbol that the church is not merely an institution in one small place, but is all over the world. And so the feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran invites us to this universality, invites us to realize that the word Catholic means universal. And that is why we cannot be parochial, we cannot be small-minded, we cannot be narrow-minded, but instead must include everyone and everything, because that is exactly what Catholic means. The reading chosen for the dedication of this basilica is the cleansing of the temple in John's Gospel. The cleansing of the temple is an event which is narrated by all the Gospels. In the Gospels of Matthew, Mark and Luke, it is given towards the end of the ministry of Jesus. However, in the Gospel of John, it is at the beginning of the Gospel in chapter 2, immediately after Jesus has worked the first miracle of turning water into wine. Jesus enters the temple and he would want the temple to be a place of worship. Instead, he notices that in the temple where people ought to worship God, there is trade going on. There is barter exchange. There is buying and selling and it remains on that level. Worship is forgotten. Worship has taken second and even third place. What he notices is that money has become the god of people, that business has taken over prayer. And so Jesus has to cleanse the temple and remind people once again of what exactly the temple is and who they are. He tells them that the house of God, his father's house, has been made into a marketplace and asks all those who are buying and selling to go outside and do their business there. The temple is a place where only God is to be worshipped and not money, and not business, where the only activity ought to be prayer, and not business, and not trade, and not barter exchange. Two thousand years later, we need to ask ourselves about our own churches, about our own temples of worship, about our own places of worship, and ask whether they are places of worship or whether everything else goes on except worship. If there is trade, if there is barter exchange, if there is business, then it is time to change. If the church, if the temple, if the mosque, if the gurudwar does not stand for God, and does not proclaim God and the mercy and forgiveness of God, then it has to be cleansed. Then it is on the wrong track. Then it is not doing what it is meant to do. Jesus is inviting us once again to go back to our roots because we realize 
that while it is true that the external temple, the external church, the external place of worship is important, there is another place of worship which is myself. I am the temple of God. My body, my heart, my mind, my being is the temple of God. And how do I give God worship? How do I show the presence of God through the person I am? If in my own heart there are feelings of resentment, there are feelings of anger, there are feelings of bitterness, there are feelings of hate and revenge, then there is no worship, there is no prayer. Then my temple, my heart has to be cleansed first. And so I ask myself, on this feast of the dedication of the Basilica of St. John Lateran, then my mind goes back to the early church and how in that basilica there was genuine and true worship, whether there will be true worship in my heart. When I go to my church, when I go to my temple, when I go to my mosque, when I go to my place of worship, if I take this being, which is a worshipful being, then true worship happens in that external temple as well. So each one of us is the temple of God's glory and all of us together make up that temple. The body of God, the body of Christ, the body of Jesus is not only the external monument that we visit once a week or even every day. The body of Christ is made up of those who worship God. And if the worship of those who worship God is genuine, then it has to be a worship from the heart. If it is instead a worship of trade or barter exchange, if it is instead a worship which stems from revenge and anger and hatred, then it is not true worship. And so on this feast, let us ask ourselves two questions. The first is whether the temple of my heart, the temple of my being, is a worshipful temple. If the Lord were to come to the temple of my heart, would he need to cleanse it? Or would he find worship there? And second, let me take this worshipful being to my place of worship. And when I worship God there, let it be a worship which stems from my heart. A very happy feast to every one of you.